Hi peeps, we are back. We are talking The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 12, episode 17. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. So the show picks up right where it left off. Um, except for it's the next day. It's day two in Aspen. And it seems that it's not possible for Kyle to go any waking hours without stirring the pot. The first thing she wants to do is talk about Kathy's slippers that she wore into the house. Then she wants to start talking about Sutton and Diana and their whole situation. I'm not over the shoes that my sister arrived in. I sent a picture to Paris and Nikki and I said, just so you know, your mom showed up in Aspen with these shoes on. You're right. One on one, there are great moments. Mm -hmm. And then she 180s. It's very it high school. stupid and trivial, classic mean girl stuff. Ha. The slippers you wore here, they need to go in the trash. Well, sure is quiet in here. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm okay. So excited. Something is coming off as not authentic in these apologies. And we had a nice time. So do you feel like after today, there's a, a window of opportunity for you guys? There's peace. We had a nice time today. We communicated, and I'll take that. If you can help the victims, why wouldn't you give the earrings? It doesn't say you're guilty, but it says you have compassion. Clearly, her position is that she is also a victim. Mm-hmm. But the things that you're wearing, things you own, is it ill-gotten gained? Like, I wouldn't want it. That's what I'm saying either. Okay, so first I just have to say that Kyle is absolutely working my last nerve. My last nerve. I'm telling you, by the time we get to the reunion, I'll have half a nerve left. I mean, who cares what shoes she wore? The woman said that they were comfortable, that her feet hurt. She doesn't have to be dressed to the nines, head to toe every single day. She doesn't have to show off her riches. This is just ridiculous to me. Throughout this particular episode and many, many episodes this season, I think Kyle just gave the hell up. I think she said, I don't give a damn. I'm not gonna pretend as if I am a good person. I am just gonna show them my real true self. I'm mean, I'm disloyal, I'm jealous, I'm rude, I'm petty as hell and passive aggressive. And when I don't get my way, I'll cry. And then if that doesn't work, I'll do the splits. Just shut the hell up. That's all you have to do. I did see a tweet that made me laugh. Last night I saw a tweet <laughs> and this guy is funny. I read his tweets a lot, but he said, who wore it best? And it was a picture of Diana in her green jacket and Oscar to Grouch. Uh, I think Oscar wore it the best. I'm just saying. Um, you know, did anybody else notice that when Kathy got into the van, all the girls were like, Diana, Diana, hey, Diana. What the hell was that? I said, oh, my Lord. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone or some sort of time machine and we have been taken all the way back to middle school and high school. When did the cheer squad join the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? I think that the real reason that Kyle treats Kathy the way she does is because Kathy became a fan favorite really fast and we the fans like Kathy. One of the reasons that we really like Kathy is because we know that she's extremely wealthy but she doesn't rub it in anybody's face. And she's not shouting from the rooftops about her new Birkin bag or her new Bentley or how they have 37 homes. She's not doing that. And I think that's one of the reasons we really like her. I just think that Kyle needs to realize that Kathy is pretty secure in who she is. You know, I think she's in her 60s now. And if she wants to walk around with no makeup on and wearing slippers, let that lady do what she wants to do. As a matter of fact, she's more relatable to me anyway. I don't need to have the top of the line everything. I just wanna be comfortable in my life. You know, as far as 
every aspect of my life. I don't need to have millions of dollars to be happy and I don't need to wear three or four thousand dollar shoes to be happy either. I just want to be relaxed and comfortable and when you are traveling you want to be relaxed and comfortable and that's what Kathy was doing. Kyle, Erica, and Rena calling Sutton high school mean girl I said of all things that they could have said, of all the things that they could have said, mean girl, high school, I mean, this is laughable at this point. The three top tier mean girls on the show, minus Diana and Dorit, are calling Sutton and Garcelle high school mean girls. Okay, okay, somehow, it's, I'm lost, I'm lost. Get down the comments, peeps. Who's the main girls in the group? Cause I really thought it was the three of them. I'm just saying. And then Kyle talking about how at one o'clock or 12 o'clock, Dorit went over to Diana's hotel. That sounds storyline driven to me. You were in that beautiful secure mansion and you needed to run over to Diana's hotel to stay with her to feel secure. Okay. Storyline, absolutely. You know, I also noticed this week that Lisa Renna unfollowed Sutton and Garcelle on Instagram. And I thought to myself, I said, so we've had now officially two episodes of Kyle acting a complete idiot about people unfollowing people, talking about how mean and rude it was to unfollow. So I would like to know if keep that same energy with Lisa Renna? Isn't it mean? Isn't it mean girl stuff? Isn't it trivial high school stuff? You know, to unfollow somebody on Instagram? I mean, according to Kyle, it is. So I hope she's got this same energy for Lisa Renna. I thought it was really weird too that Erica tried to offer some sort of advice to Sutton about apologizing to Diana. She's telling Sutton that maybe her apologies don't come off as that sincere. I mean, Erica, I have yet to remember a 100% authentic apology that have came from your lips. Sutton has apologized I don't know how many times. What more do you want from her? I want Sutton to say F Diana and the rest of these women. No more apologizing. Say what you want to say and mean what you say. Don't back down from them anymore because they don't mind telling you how they feel. They don't mind disrespecting you, getting loud and up in your face. And as far as Kyle is concerned, she doesn't mind shaking the shit out of you. So listen, stand up for yourself, Sutton. Don't accept this. Didn't it seem as if Kyle was really a little bit upset when Erica said she had a good time with Sutton? Kyle was not happy about that. You know good and daggone well if, if Erica would have said that she had a bad time with Sutton, the first thing Kyle would have brought up when they sat down for dinner was that horrible time they had. So what happened? Erica told me that you guys didn't have a good time. You know she would have done that. So is anybody else tired of seeing Mauricio? Dude, this was supposed to be a girl's trip. You are everywhere with these girls and I am not here for it. And I don't want to start any rumors or anything, but did anybody notice a little flirting between Mauricio and Dorit? He walks up and Kyle says, hi, honey, and plants a kiss on him. As soon as Dorit walks up, she smiles at him and says, hi, honey. And he's smiling back at Dorit. I said, well, what? Nah, -uh. if I call my husband, honey, you sure as hell is not. No, ma'am. Okay. And then later at dinner, they were laughing and joking over her chicken sausage. It seems that somehow she got a little chicken sausage. I think he ordered it for her. And why is she sitting next to him and Kyle is somewhere else? Because Kyle is so busy trying to direct. That's why. So Erica and Sutton, they always get along if it's just the two of them and they're not being bothered by the rest of the ladies. And what really bothers me too is when Erica, Renna, and Kyle were talking, they tried to say that sudden is one way when it's one-on-one -on -one, and then she's another way when it's a group. Um, That's also the pot calling the kettle because Erica makes up with Sutton all the time. And then when she gets in front of the group, she treats her like trash the same way Lisa Renna does. 
Lisa Renna talked to Sutton one-on-one -on -one and it was all good. Let's make up. Huggy, huggy. You're so beautiful. Kissy, kissy. And then as soon as she's around the group, I'm going to hunt you down. I mean, really? I can't stand these grown childish women. One thing that I did love about this episode is I really do love the connection that Dorit has with her children. Talking to her little Jagger on the phone, his little sweet voice melted my heart. Her and her children are beautiful. I, I love that. Now, you know, Crystal and Garcelle, I'm team Crystal and Garcelle. Crystal said those are ill-gotten gains. And I, I agree. I would not feel right holding on to those earrings. I wouldn't feel right holding on to any of that stuff. I would take what I absolutely needed and I would try to move on and live the way my means allowed. I would live off of my money that I am making honestly and legally and I would turn over everything that I possibly had that could be sold at auction that could get money for these victims. I am truly sorry for the victims. I, I did not know, but I would like to do what I can. So here is everything that I own. Take it. I will start anew using the money that I actually worked for. I mean, I just don't get it. I Give the stuff back. Now, these particular earrings, according to page six, the only reason why Erica actually gave the earrings back is because it was court ordered. And sometime this week, those earrings will be going up for auction. I also know that the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion will be filmed tomorrow. And I am really hoping that Andy Cohen is going to do right by the show and right by us, the viewers. You have got to hold these women's feet to the fire. And it has been so many seasons back to back to back that Andy has gotten all over Candace from Potomac and all over Mia from Potomac last season as well about being um, disgustingly rude on Twitter. And I need him to get down Renna and Diana's throats. This has been ridiculous, Andy. I'm not here for the favoritism this season. This has been a vulgar, disgusting season. Now, sudden trying to get in and out of that van in that dress. I, you know, I'm kind, I'm nice. Uh, after two minutes of her struggling to get into that van, I would have pushed her in. I'm sorry, sudden a nice little shove. It's cold out here. I'm just saying. Also, when they went skiing and when they went uh, snowmobiling, I, I don't I don't like that. I don't like being in the cold. I'm definitely not going to sit outside in the cold with my gloves off, having chips and Bloody Marys with ice. I mean, are you kidding me? These drinks are cold drinks. It's already six degrees. No, can I go in somewhere and have a hot chocolate? I'm not staying outside long. Listen, I have a python. Listen, I have a python coat from the queen. Given the situation with Tom, this is not the time to be talking about these expensive bags. Why wouldn't you just go it? Let's pay the victims. It's not saying I'm guilty. It's saying um, I have compassion. I have a heart. And I'm fighting like a devil. Hello. Yeah. Is that a sausage? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's sausage. It's just chicken sausage if you ask for it. I didn't ask for chicken sausage. Diana, do you want to see the handbag my sister brought to me? So this is a way better option. And James are investors. I'm an investor. I'd like you guys to. <laughs> oh God, here we go again. This is Casa del Sol. The do a little bottoms up. No. Oh. You are so passionate about those victims. Well, put your money where your mouth is. I would give it up. Well, Why? Yeah, because you can look good. I would feel compassion for other people. I think you don't have the compassion because you don't want the compassion to seem like you're guilty. I'm not saying I don't feel for yeah. the potential victims. Yeah. Potential victims. Yep. Yeah, because who knows that they're true or not. All I think about are victims. I don't give a f about anybody else but me. Let's have a little sensitivity to the victims. The only person you should be concerned about is me. People die. Kyle, stop cursing.
Kathy, I'm stop. sorry. Knock it off. Why am I showing compassion for people that are dogging me Don't for something I didn't do? Don't say that, Erica. Do? Don't say that because you're my friend. I can't defend that. Wait to get her out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. They have my tequila here. They do? Uh huh. Can I yes. try a little shot of that 818 tequila? I want yes. to see what that tastes like. Because it's my friend Kendall Jenner tequila. I want to try Kendall Jenner's 818. In front of me here right now, and Kyle doesn't do it. My margarita. Thank <laughs> you. I am f***ing pissed off. Okay, so I guess. First, we'll talk about Diana in that comment she made about if these girls are so concerned about the victims, put your money where your mouth is and donate. So we all know that yesterday before the show aired, Diana announced that she had made a donation, which what she actually did was she created a her foundation and she donated the money to her foundation and at some point the victims should be getting this hundred thousand dollars that she donated i don't think that erica appreciated diana's donation because there was a tweet and it said it's phony she knew about this she knew about this as she bought up the dinner party when erica threatened sutton at kathy's house last season she's just not smart so what this person was trying to say is diana knew about this victim situation all along even though in her statement she tried to make it seem as if she had just um become aware of it and that's why she made this donation Erica liked that comment and I think that's Erica's way of saying that she thinks Diana's being phony right now as well. So the whole thing with Kathy, that really pissed me off. That really hurt my feelings. Laughing at her, interrupting her and not allowing her to use her moment to market her tequila was really ugly. There was a tweet and Kathy's daughter Paris she retweeted it and she said so unkind someone tweeted she was so cute all excited to show the ladies the tequila and then kyle just scoffs at her none of them acted slightly interested it was so sad to watch denise richards also tweeted and she said i felt bad for her you could see her feelings were genuinely hurt and the previews with renna going out of her way to take a dig that is so true and it's really hurtful if you think about it we have sat through so many countless beverly beach things every season there's something to do with the agency which is kyle and her husband's real estate business we have done Rena Beauty. They set through that Rena Fose. You know, every last one of these ladies have had their moment in the sun to show off their business. I don't know why they couldn't take five minutes to let Kathy pitch her, her son-in-law and her daughter's tequila and just take a shot. You take a shot of everything else I just think that that was terrible. She did show up for your homeless, not toothless event. I thought it was disgusting. After watching this season, I can see why Kathy doesn't talk to Kyle very often and neither does Kim. Did anybody also notice that when Erica started exposing herself even further, when Lisa Ritter made some kind of comment about if she had passed out editables sooner, um, they would be sitting around eating Doritos. The editors focused directly on Dorit. I said, oh my gosh, they are so shady. The whole time that all of this was going on, I appreciate that Sutton stuck to her guns. She said, nope, I'm sitting right here and I'm keeping my mouth shut. I am not going to be in the line of fire two nights in a row. When Erica made that comment, potential victims, and then she made the comment that she doesn't care about anybody else but herself. I said, oh gosh, remember last episode or a couple episodes ago when Garcelle said she doesn't have to make you look bad? Hey, she was right. You do that all on your own. Yikes. I thought also, remember a few episodes back when Erica kept saying that Sudden was a liability? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You are on national TV saying you don't give a F about these plane crash victims and calling them frauds. 
Yeah, I'm thinking that you're the liability, ma'am. Were you on your cocktail of medicine and alcohol this evening? Her attorney is pissed, but I'm sure the prosecutor attorney is so excited. I know the prosecuting attorney is doing cartwheels, rewinding. Let's hear her say it again. I mean, seriously. And then when you think about it too, the whole time this show has been going on, we have seen that Kyle and Mauricio have lawsuits out the wazoo. Lisa Ritter always has a lawsuit. Erica has so many, we can't even count. Dorit and PK always have a lawsuit. We didn't hear anything about Sutton, Garcelle, or Crystal having lawsuits, not a one. And Sutton's the liability, okay. Well, you know, Remember last week when Diana was acting a fool and Kyle said that she respected Diana for her honesty. I wonder if she respects Erica for her honesty. I'm just saying, Kyle got pretty upset. You know, I think Kyle was really ticked off with Erica because Erica just came right out and said it in front of everybody and in front of the camera exactly how she felt. And Kyle has been sniffing up her butt but all season, trying to make it seem as if Erica does care. You know, you, you're reading her all wrong and now she's making you look bad. You know, Lisa Renna and Dorit, all of a sudden, we gotta get her out of here. We gotta get her out of here. Why? Why? You guys didn't jump up and rush to pull Diana the hell out of there. You sat back and was real relaxed and comfortable watching Diana talk shit to Sutton. But Erica spilling the truth. All of a sudden, you've got to get her out of there. You know, I really appreciate Garcelle. Garcelle pulled no punches. She told no lies. She asked all the questions that we wanted to know. You know, the questions that Andy Cohen likes to dance around. And, you know, Erica was in control of her own narrative and she messed around and showed her ass. She showed who she really was. This whole season, Erica has been showing us who she is. Sloppy drunk. She made fun of Crystal's eating disorder. She acted a fool at uh, Diana's son Asher's uh, performance. She cussed out uh, Garcelle's son Jax. She offered to have the sex with her son, Oliver, who, Lord, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Oliver's wife went out on social media and she told everything. Supposedly, Oliver is a cheater. And supposedly, Oliver is throwing that thing around town. So Erica might can get some. Um, she said that Oscar was making out with Raquel from Vanderpump Rules. Honey, listen, Raquel's name has been thrown out there a lot. Supposedly, she was talking to Peter from Vanderpump Rules. Then she was making out with Tom Schwartz. And now Oliver Garcelle's son, which, by the way, we also know that Garcelle has been filming with Lisa Vanderpump for Vanderpump Rules. So listen, honey, listen. I think that when Oliver got that job working for Lisa, he said it pays more if I can get on the show. So maybe he's just, you know, crossing the line in his marriage so he can get a bigger paycheck. I have no idea, but if he was my husband, he would be done. Bye, bye, bitch, I'm just saying. So yeah, Erica let us know that she really just cares about herself and she really sees herself as the victim. She doesn't think that any of these other people are victims, it's just her. As far as I'm concerned, Erica Girardi has zero heart, zero integrity, zero compassion. I agree with what Garcelle said. You don't want to give those earrings back. You don't want to say anything because you think it'll make you look guilty. I don't think it would make her look guilty. It would actually make her look as if she cares. You don't have to come out and say, I'm guilty. All you have to do is show some sort of sympathy. I cannot believe she can't find one attorney out of all the attorneys that she has that cannot figure out a way for her to show sympathy for these victims and still hang on to her alleged innocence. Then at the end, when they show the previews for next episode, you see Kathy tell Lisa Renna that in this bar they have her tequila and she's excited that her tequila is there and then lisa renna says she wants to try her friend kylie jenner's 818 tequila then you can tell that kathy's feelings are hurt because she relays it to garcelle and she says and kyle doesn't even give a f kyle is sitting there with renna and i think erica or dorit enjoying 
their company while they are clearly playing her sister. Hell to the no, okay? Kyle could never be my sister, period. And I think it's real funny how she treats Kathy like dirt, but she's always clout chasing by name dropping Kathy's daughters. I'm just saying. Anyway, you guys, get down in the comments and let me know what you think. And until next time, bye.